everybody. Today we're going to have some pizza on bread and some tomatoes. Oh. Hey, everybody. Oh. Oh, God. Be get down. I'm sorry. How y'all doing? Hopefully good. So I made this last night and it's made with like organic tomato sauce. Which I'm not going to lie to you, this tomato sauce is really, really good. It's some of the best tomato sauce I've ever had. It's not like the best, but it's the second best. Which is still really good. Um, I got it because it said organic. But it, it is genuinely better than that Sargento or whatever the fuck. Or Pregan... Pregento, what the fuck is it called? And I put some mozzarella and some spinach and some Wooster cheese. Um, but that's what's on here. And then this is, I forgot the name of the bread. This just came out of the oven. It's a really good snack. I'm hungry. And I also got some tomatoes with olive oil on it and cracked pepper. Yeah. That's good. This was inspired. This tomato snack was inspired by when I went to this uh, Italian place called Gallo's. When I was on a diet, I got this little tomato dish with just tomato and cheese and vinaigrette. And it was really good. Honestly, I heard olive oil is good for your guts. I don't know if that's true. Is there any doctor out there that can, like, tell me of what? Because I don't know. I've seen that olive oil is, like, the healthiest one. But I know for sure it's better than vegetable oil for you. And it's got some flavor to it, just slightly. But yeah, y'all should try this. It's really good. Like that cheese pull. I'm hungry. I had this last night too. The same exact thing except uh, I had uh, dressing instead of the olive oil and cracked pepper. But I like the olive oil and cracked pepper better. I won't lie to you. It just matches the tomato better. That's my old ass pug. Bro. I saw. I saw this chick. She's Lulu the Pug. Okay, Lulu the Pug. Kind of reminds me of my pug. I'm not going to lie. My pug's like 12. But Lulu the Pug. Somebody put a hate comment on Lulu the Pug. And called Lulu the Pug a rat. And I'm just sitting here like. What the fuck? No. That reminds me of this fucking awful time. This girl at work told me she used to have a pug. If you love pugs, you don't want, you don't want to hear the story. I love pugs. Here, I'm going to show you my pug. She's right here. See, don't, she kind of reminded me of Lulu the pug. <coughs> okay, get off me. Well, anyway. Ugh. I'm sorry. My brain just queefed. Where is it? Where's my brain? Lulu the pug. Oh yeah, I was telling you this story. This awful story. It's an awful story. It's about a pug dying. Okay. And there's another story, but that was from Wendy's. I, I don't want to tell you that. Some guy one day told me his, his pug fell downstairs and died. I was like, thanks for that. Thanks for telling me that, because I have a pug. And I told him I had a pug, and that's why he told me that. And I'm like, oh. Great. Thanks. Thanks for that, you know? Because I love pugs. I love pugs. 
Don't tell me that. Well, anyway, this girl at work told me her neighbor put rat poison. Yep. In her yard. Her neighbor. And killed her fucking pup. What the fuck? And then the lady, the old lady, ended up getting cancer and died. Good. Good. Fucking bitch. Evil. You don't do that. Not to anybody. Or anything. God Christ almighty, you wonder why you died. You know why you died. God damn. I'm sorry. But she told me that story. And I was like this. You know? Because I love pugs. Don't tell me that. I love my pugs. My my pug Goliath, he's 17 years old. 17. Yeah. And he had a tumor in his mouth when he was four. We all thought he was going to die. I thought he was going to die. Because I was in middle school and I remember crying at school in class. Because I was like, oh my god, I hope he doesn't die. So they took it out. He ended up fine, you know. 17. He's old, you know. He's, you know, he's blind. He's deaf. He walks around. He's still happy as fuck. He literally is so happy. And I just love him. And I love China. <gasps> hey, baby. She's crazy. She's like me, but a pug. On crack. Yeah. Imagine me on crack as a pug. <laughs> That's China. And she's a pervert. Every time you go to the potty, she will come and just sniff your panties. It's like, bitch, get, quit sniffing my panties every time and I gotta close the door cause she'll she'll claw her way in and go I want no <laughs> god damn girl what are you doing <laughs> I don't know what the hell you think you're doing girl you nasty you nasty I don't know why you want to smell that every fucking time it's like I gotta close the door I mean, sometimes I'll leave the door open or cracked open. She'll come in and go, hello. I'm like, bitch, goodbye. And then I kick her out. I'm like, girl. And then I nudge her out because she don't need to be smelling that, girl. Does anybody else's dog do that? They probably all do that. They're all weird. Humans are weird. I am weird. You, we, we don't even talk about humans. Humans are weird. We're just like pugs. We're just like dogs. Going to the bathroom and sniffing panties. What else would you do if you were a pug? <laughs> I don't know. Look at my ring. Isn't that cute? I'm sorry. I sound like a creepy nerd. Oh, wait, I am. Oh, I got a fart. It wouldn't come out. I feel like I'm in like a nature documentary. You know, this is a series of of me. You know what what this girl does alone in her house. You know, unadvised. Explicit. <laughs> well, not quite. No, this is an only fans. We don't do that. Not me. But I do have an account 
I'm not going to lie, but I didn't post anything. I just thought about it. When I was single, I was like, I don't do anything, you know. But now I have a job, so I don't, I don't need that. I don't care how much money I get. I don't want to, I don't want millions of people seeing me naked. Wow. But if you don't mind, well, that's all you, girl. I mind. I'm scared. I'm embarrassed of my body. It's like I don't even like getting naked in front of my boyfriend. Let alone... Let alone the whole world. Mmm. Honestly, I want another one, but I won't. I can eat, like, two or three of those, you know. But I don't want to. I want to keep it at one. I got to be more mindful about what I eat, you know. It's okay, I'll eat again later. Let me know in the comments if that looked good to you. I thought it looked good, and it was good. And I'm not just to my own horn. One time I made this pizza with bread before, and I didn't like it that much. But this one, this one's simple, easy, and delicious, honestly. So yeah, I would try it out. But, uh... Thanks for watching. Uh, <coughs> Sorry if you got sad because of that pug story. I just... Why did these people tell me these things? I have a pug. I mean, I... The girl that told me said she loved pugs. So, honestly, I feel you, girl. But it makes me so sad. Because I have pugs. <laughs> you know? And if someone did that to me, I would fucking want to murder somebody. I would want to fucking choke her and kill her. Yeah, I would. And I probably... I probably would. <laughs> I'm not joking. Well, anyway. Um, I'll see y'all in the next video. See, that's why I got a knife on my head. I ain't joking, bitch. I'm serious. <laughs> oh, no, God did it for her. She, she got cancer and died. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, God. Oh. I do that at work. I wonder if they hate me and they think I'm obnoxious. I got saucy fingers. I sound like that one guy that does those creepy voiceovers and sounds like monotone all the time. And he also kind of talks like this. And he kind of is kind of funny just because he does that. I don't even know. <laughs> you know the one. What's his name? I don't know. But there's this guy at Starbucks that I work with that sounds exactly like him. Was that to you? Hey! <laughs> I'm serious. I want to know. Go! Oh. I don't know. I got saucy, crispy fingers. Every morning. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. Why do I do this? We're all just pugs. <laughs> China. I'm sorry. Why do I make these facial expressions? Do people know? I feel like everyone always knows what I'm thinking because my facial expression will give away. And, and sometimes I'll probably look at customers like this. <laughs> or I'll be like this. <laughs> or I'll be like this. <laughs> yeah. It's like... I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't hide it. It's always there. Always watching. Ugh. I'm sorry. Good thing most of the customers are old people. Maybe they can't see. Maybe they can't see my face. <laughs> I hope they aren't wearing their rating glasses today. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I want more pizza bread. But Devin's supposed to take me on a date. So I'll have to wait. I was going to order DoorDash, even though he's coming in like an hour and a half. I was like contemplating and then I was like no I'll just make pizza bread so I just made pizza bread oh did y'all notice I dyed my hair black well and then I kind of re-bleached the front but it needs to be bleached again but other than that yeah I'm trying to think I don't know I don't have any thoughts. No thoughts. Head empty. That's me. That's why sometimes I'll just like stop talking because there's no thoughts and my head's empty. I'll just go like this and then forget what I was saying and what I was talking about. Does anybody else do that? They just like their mind just just it's like the men in black where they just and then everything's gone. Does that mean I'm a bimbo? I want to know. <laughs> what makes a woman a bimbo? I think a bimbo is a hot, pretty girl that's kind of dumb. No, I don't think I'm dumb per se, but I do think that my brain doesn't work sometimes. It's lagging. I have a lagging computer brain but it's a good computer it just lags just a little the servers aren't working <laughs> the servers are berserk i'm sorry <clears throat> Aww. i'm wearing little horns did anybody notice that Aww. wait i look like spongebob Look, see my teeth, and I got freckles, and I'm from Hawaii. Oh my God, SpongeBob's me, and I got holes. <laughs> Brown holes? No, I'm just kidding. That's gross. Well, his are kind of green. Maybe I'm not SpongeBob, but that's probably a good thing. SpongeBob and Patrick. How did SpongeBob and Patrick become friends? Why don't we have an episode on that? We got one about Mr. Krabs and Plankton, but never SpongeBob and P Patrick? And how the fu- When did SpongeBob move to Bikini Bottom? When? When did Squidward move to Bikini Bottom? When did Mr. Krabs move to Bikini Bottom? When did Sandy move? And why? Why would Sandy move under the ocean? Is she a criminal? Is she a murderer? Because she's a strong creature. You know, if you look at the episodes, she's super strong. Maybe she killed somebody. 
And that's like, she's like, oh, okay, time to go down in the ocean. And then she goes down the ocean. So nobody can find her. Because they're all on land. Smart. Uh. <laughs> See, I told you this is a nature documentary about me. This is me, what I do when I'm by myself and nobody's watching me. Except when I put it on the internet, people watch me. And then, like, they have things to say. But it's like, what do you do when you're alone, you know? What do you do? You fart and smell it? You fart and go, Ugh. just like me? Thumbs up if you do. <laughs> Thumbs up if you smell your own farts once in a while. I know I do. I I mean, sometimes it's not on purpose, but I feel like sometimes it is because it's like I want to see what my farts smell like because you can tell what kind of uh, bacteria is coming out or something. Isn't it bacteria? No, it's like the leftovers from your bacteria that eats the food or something. Something like that, I don't know. Saucy fingers. They should have a salad fingers revamp called Saucy Fingers. Don't make it about me. <laughs> I can see it now. Saucy fingers. Pregnant toilet ghost. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last noise you'll hear before you're dead. <laughs> and then you'll smell it. You'll go like this. <laughs> Don't let Grampy watch this video. <laughs> Grampy. Does anybody call their grandpa Grampy? I heard Papa, but I'm from Indiana. Grampy? If I had a grandpa, maybe I'd call him Grampy. Hi, Grampy. Why do we call them Grandpa? Who came up with that? Why can't we call them something else? Skankpaw. <laughs> I wonder if anyone calls their Grandpa Skankpaw. I bet he calls himself Skankpaw. Because he's a skank. Or he was back in the day. I remember this one guy at work, he was talking about how he, when he was younger, he would, like, record himself having sex with all kinds of girls. <laughs> I don't know if he told me that or somebody else that, but I remember. I was like, oh. Hmm. <laughs> Too bad OnlyFans didn't exist back then. You'd be making money. I'm for real. Do you have an OnlyFans? One time, one of my friends asked me that. It's like, no. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Interesting. Look at those saucy fingers. So weird and oily. Saucy. What kind of sun in them? What kind of sun? Am I going to have, what kind of personality is he going to have? I'm worried. I'm concerned. 
Is anybody else concerned if, you know, if you're pregnant and you're like, God, I'm crazy. What's my kid going to be like? You know? He's probably going to be crazy, too. We got a lot of crazies in my family. Hyperactive crazies. I'm one. I'm a hyperactive. ADHD almost kind of crazy. I was never diagnosed with anything, so I don't even call it anything. I just call it being a bitch. Crazy bitch. That's what I call it. Hey, you know, every... It's like having an animal. Every animal is completely different. Some animals are hyper. Some animals are sleepy all day. You know, I'm the hyper one. But my boyfriend, he's the opposite. Which is probably a good thing. <laughs> you know, at least there's not two hypers. That would be crazy. How old do I look? I had a guy that at a bar told me I looked 30 something. But he said I was gorgeous though. He was a big old seven foot black man. That was years ago. He was from California. Yeah. He was cute. But uh, he was huge. Giant. Huge. <laughs> but yeah I think I think he thought that because he was like 40 or something or somewhere around that 38 something like that I think that's probably why because you know when you get older you kind of just assume people are around your age half the time it's hard to tell it really is um, sometimes other times, it isn't hard to tell. Like, the girls I work with, you know, some of them I could tell are young, and then others I can't tell what the fuck age you are. At all. You know? But, um, like me, I'm turning 26 soon, so... I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, last year, I worked at Applebee's. The manager said she thought I was a minor. I was like... I don't look like a minor. I was like, huh? And uh, she wasn't the only one. But they were like in their late or mid 30s. But still, it's like, why would you think that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think I look like an adult. You know? I don't know. Maybe I don't. I, I don't know. Maybe I don't act like one. Maybe that's why. <laughs> that could be it. I don't think I, I act like an adult half the time. I think I act like a, a, a little uh, immature bitch. Mm. But it's okay. I have a lot to say today. I really do. And I don't know why. I'm not even eating. It's like we could just sit here and I could talk forever. But let me know in the comments if you even care if I eat. Maybe you just care if I talk. Maybe you just want, maybe you just want to hear me talk. Is that what you want? <laughs> like a vlog. I'm not one of those fake people anymore. On my first YouTube channel, I was like faking being super happy and preppy. And honestly, it was fake. And now I'm just myself, and I feel good. <laughs> Why? Because this is me, bitch. Like, you know? I don't know. It feels good to just let it all loose. The wild animal in you just comes out and has giant bazongas. Oh, speaking of bazongas, this guy told me this joke the other day. Uh, at work, he said, this guy has three girlfriends. One girlfriend, he, he's only going to marry one. And then he goes, one girlfriend had a good job. She took care of herself. She invested money. The other girlfriend, she got makeup. She got hair. 
she got all that. And the other one, she's a businesswoman. And then he's like, which one is she going to marry? And I'm like, I don't know which one. And he goes, the one with the biggest tits. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. But what if you don't like big tits? I like big tits. But I'm just saying, what if you don't? Well, I don't know. If you don't like big tits, do you like tits? I like all kinds of tits. I'm a titty girl in a titty world. And I'm also, I just don't care. Like, who cares? Does anybody? I don't think they do. I really don't. People think they care, but they actually, in reality, don't. <laughs> and that's it. Like, if you don't shave your vagina, do people care? Probably not. They're probably going to stick it in. Why would they care? <laughs> you know? I don't know. I'm just saying. People care about anything. I don't know. I got a headache. I'm tired of talking. I'll see y'all on the next one. <laughs> Bye.